There is need to help people, both male and female, process the information they get on gender-based violence while pushing for laws and policies and sexual violence in higher institutions and the nation in general. This will increase not just awareness, but also accountability. This is a submission at the EU-UN Joint Spotlight Initiative to Ending Sexual Harassment in Tertiary Institutions. The report. I am a woman, born of a woman, who stands tall to tell her story, strong enough to say no, to say stop, to help other women oppressed by those they look up to. They were born innocently as princesses, only to be made victims of sexual violence. When they speak out, they find strength and become survivors. The process of making these vulnerable minds survivors after being sexually abused is cumbersome, coupled with continuous monitoring to boost their self-esteem. A proactive step is a dose to reducing the menace. We need to strengthen the voices of female students and also to strengthen the collaboration between women's rights organizations and many of these young women in our learning institutions. We must learn very quickly to isolate and identify the ones that have chosen to take the wrong path. If we don't, entire universities, entire polytechnics, entire colleges of education will be thrown under the bus. There is need to rekindle people's consciousness to the consequences of sexual violence, especially in higher institutions. Having concerned mothers all over the country who can serve as guardians during student lecturer meetings, according to the wife of the vice president, is key to frustrating some lecturers' plans. I wish we had as many concerned mothers, mothers as we needed. But the concerned mother will come with you. She will stand with you in the lecturer's office until he finishes saying what he wants to say. While the 16th day of activism on sexual violence continues, add your voice to other voices to fight sexual violence help convey a sense of hope.